Welcome to a video on how to find trig ratios uh, given angles, uh, specifically uh, angles in radian um, measure. And we're going to do uh, some special triangle angles as well as quadrantal angles, which uh, values that fall on the uh, x or y axis. So first of all, all of these questions, I'm going to begin by um, sketching the picture first of all, and then uh, deciding what to do from the picture uh, after afterwards with the ratio. So when you're given an angle, uh, 7 pi over 4, you have to recall that the rotation of uh, half a circle right there would be pi. So what I'd like to think of is uh, this denominator right there is um, how, how many slices you divide pi into. So divide pi into that many slices. And then the 7 up here just tells you how many to count off. Count off this many slices to create your angle. Okay, so here we have our pi. We're going to divide this pi into four equal sections. So cutting it in half, then cutting it in half again. All right, and then what we're going to do is count off uh, seven of these uh, sectors. So we have one, two, three, four, five, that's a six right here, and seven right here. Another way of thinking about it is actually a faster way. Um, I like to think of the pi, I'll do it in green, pi could be written as four pi over four. So use the same denominator as in the question. So this is four pi over four. And then the 2 pi on the other side, or 0, but 2 pi is actually the one that you want to use. 2 pi is equivalent to having 8 pi over 4, because that reduces. And so because you're looking for 7 pi over 4, you're just thinking we have one slice less than 8 pi over 4. So the final answer is over here, so I'm going to make it really bold here. So that's the actual rotation of 7 pi over 4. Okay, um, so the question asks you to find sine of this. We'll come back to do this question to finish it off in a moment. Let's just practice drawing. So this one we're going to think of 5 pi over 6. So uh, once again, I'll do it in two, both ways, thinking how I did it in red here and the green version, but then eventually I'll just stick to the green version because that's what I prefer. Okay, so here we have 5 pi over 6. We're taking pi, so the uh, half a circle rotation and splitting it off into six equal chunks. So this is pi right here. This is half. We're splitting this half into two more equal chunks. And we're going to count off five of these uh, as a rotation. So here is one, two, three, four, five. So final answer is over here. Okay. So another way of thinking about it, as before, you can think of pi as 6 pi over 6, because we're looking for 5 pi over 6, not 6 pi over 6. It's one sector less, and so that would be where it lies. Okay. The next question, we have a negative angle. So negative angles go, instead of counterclockwise, they go clockwise. And um, here we're dividing pi into uh, three equal sections. Now I'm going to be dividing the bottom portion just because it's uh, rotating in a negative direction. So um, equal portions into three chunks. So you have to kind of eyeball it, make these look kind of like uh, each one is 60, 60, 60 here. Uh, so we have um, divided it and now we're going to be counting off four of these section, sections Sorry, in the in the clockwise way. So this is one, that's a two, that's a three, we need one more, so four. So final answer is someone here. Okay. Um, we have a few more actually. On this side, we have five pi over two. So pi, pi over two, so this is pi, splitting it into a half. 
And we're going to count off in the counterclockwise direction five of these. So one, two, three, four, and then five would be here. So this is the final answer for that question. And then if you're given an angle, this is still in radian mode because it doesn't have a little degree symbol. So this is still radian measure, but it doesn't have pi on it. So in order to draw something like this, I'd like you to think of the um, decimal representations of pi and pi over 2, um, just to give an idea of where this falls. So pi, we know, is 3.14 approximately. And um, 0 or 2 pi here is approximately 6.28. Uh, the pi over 2, if you type that into the calculator, is 1.57, uh, very close to that. And 3 pi over 2 is approximately 4.71. So this angle of 4.05 is very close to this one, but it's on that side. So it's a rotation of almost to 70 degrees, somewhere here. So you just eyeball it, not to draw it, okay? So now let's uh, backtrack and fill in how to find the actual ratios after you have the picture. So what I'm going to do right now is actually redraw, so it's not cluttered with all the other stuff that I was drawing, the triangle in um, quadrant 4. And you have to remember that uh, when you have a denominator pi over 4, uh, it's always related to the 45 degree angle. So this right here is 45 degree angle or pi over 4 if you're working in uh, radians. So this is an isosceles triangle that has sides 1, 1, and root 2. Fill in any negatives. So anything to the left would be negative uh, and anything down is negative except the radius. Radius is always positive. So this is to the right, so it's positive. This one's down, so that one's negative. And so final answer is uh, sine of 7 pi over 4 is equivalent to um, y over r. And y here is negative 1, r is root 2. And uh, just to rationalize it, it'll have negative root 2 over 2. Uh, the next question, um, again, just to redraw it, this time we have... You can even tell that it's going to be a 30 degree angle because it's drawn uh, closer to the x-axis. A uh, 30 degree angle is pi over 6. So the denominator really tells you um, what that related acute angle is. So pi over 6 over here. And then fill in the triangle side. So anything that looks small, so if you draw it more or less to scale, so this is angle 30 across from that is a small side 1. The 90 degree angle is the biggest angle in this triangle, so across from that would be the biggest side, which is 2. And then the remaining is the root 3. Uh, fill in any negatives. There's only one negative on the x here because it went left. And so final answer, therefore, tangent of 5 pi over 6 is equal to y over x by definition, which is equal to 1 over negative root 3, and then just rationalize. Notice, once you do the ratios, uh, you do not write down tangent anymore. Uh, so it's 10 of an angle. The output of this function is a ratio. Okay. Uh, then uh, this one, uh, we have, looks like a 60 degree angle here, so which is pi over 3. And we have a 1, which is negative, a root 3 and a 2. As follows and so I'll do it up here so secant uh, definition is r over sorry yes r over x and uh, r here um, is 2 and x is negative 1 so final answer is negative 2 all right so two more here left over um, definition for cosine is x over r. The radius of a unit circle is 1. The point up here is 0, comma 1. So x is 0, r is 1, so the answer is 0. Uh, and then the last one, uh, because this is not 
a special triangle kind of question, we need to use a calculator. Just make sure that your calculator is in radian mode. Very important, otherwise you won't get the right answer. So um, most calculators don't have cotangent on um, as one of the keys. So what you have to do is think cotangent is the same thing as um, 1 over tangent. Make sure you flip um, the full ratio. Don't flip the angle. Angle stays as 4.05 radians. And then just type into the calculator um, and you'll get approximately 0.7799. All right. I hope this video was helpful to you.